So welcome back to the continuing series on questions and answers that you have about buying and selling. But today I'm joined by Glenn, our mortgage advisor. Morning, Glenn. Morning, Joanne. So Glenn, I'm thinking of using a mortgage broker to get my first home, or maybe my next. How do I go about evaluating who I should be using? Well, that's a very good question indeed. Um, put me on the spot with that one, Joanne. Um, I guess there's several things you can do. Uh, the first one is how did you find out about that particular broker in the first place? The mm -hmm. recommendation is, mm. is everything, I think. So word of mouth is a good one. Um, have you had people that you know that uh, can tell you good stories about a broker or a mortgage mm. advisor? Then what do you do? Um, do a, an internet search, Google search, whatever, and have a look at their website. Um, look for a broker, that a mortgage advisor that's got uh, the Trusted Advisor logo. Mm. Um, Financial Advice New Zealand, which is a professional association of financial advisors, um, recently uh, encouraged their advisors to take extra steps in terms of education uh, to qualify for this really well worth uh, brand or logo, if you like. Um, and they have to go through ethics training um, and study and they have to then pass the test from the CEO. So the CEO of Financial Advice New Zealand vets each one themselves. So that is another way to look out for somebody. I guess the final test I would say is talk to them. Mm. How do they conduct themselves? Mm. Um, do they dress reasonably well? Um, do they present information in organized fashion? Um, do they answer your questions? Mm. Um, I think those are fairly basic things. And then do you have a connection as mm. a result of that conversation you've had with them? I think that's the simple way of going about it. Um, and most of the time, that's exactly how most people would find whether or not to deal with, with, with you mm. um, and any other professional out there. It's getting that connection going and thinking, I can trust this person. Yeah, look, and you're absolutely right. Trust is a major factor in it. Um, you know, you're, you're, I'm, I personally am actually either selling their property or they're buying a property through me. Um, here you're putting their finances, you know, you're, you're looking at everything that related to their life and actually putting it all together for you. You're absolutely right. And you yeah. need to be trusted to be able to achieve that for them. Absolutely. You know, this is something that will have an impact on them for years to come in the future. Mm. Get it right, they'll love you to bits for it. Get it wrong, um, then the reverse is true. Mm. So it's such an important decision to go with working with the right professional people mm. every time. Thank you, Glenn. Look, from a personal note, I can tell you that both of my children, uh, Charles and Victoria, hi from mum if you're watching out there, have both used Glenn, very different solutions in terms of their mortgages, and I know that every single time anybody's looking for a mortgage advisor, they're actually going to be suggesting Glenn. So I can't recommend him enough. Talk to him yourself. Wow. Thank you. So Glenn, you've provided with us with a great deal of information today. You know, how would people get hold of you if they wanted to know more? Sure. Well, Joanne, obviously they can get hold of you and you know how to get hold of me, which is great. You giving us some wonderful referrals over the years, which is fantastic for us. Um, yeah, get hold of me, Glenn Slade. Uh, my mobile number is 021 um, And uh, you can get hold of me also, Slade Consulting at mx.co.nz, Mortgage Express that is for MX. So uh, yeah, just get hold of me that way. And if in doubt, um, talk to Joanne.